James Hildreth was back in the runs again, along with Tom Abel and Marcus Truscothic, as Somerset had the better of the first day of their LV County Championship match with fellow First Division strugglers Hampshire at the Aegeus Bowl. Truscothic batted first after winning the toss, his team coming into this game on the back of a brilliant four-day victory over Nottinghamshire at home, where Somerset chased down 400 in the last innings of the match to win for just a second time this summer. On that occasion, it was a sizeable opening partnership between Truscothic and Abel, which gave their side an opportunity. And these two again batted well together to give their side an ideal start to a match that neither team will want to lose, given their positions just above the relegation places right now. Truscothic produced several of his trademark shots, one of them off Gareth Berg, taking him to his latest 50 off 67 balls. That was the Somerset skipper's 10th four as he took his partnership with Abel up to 92. That though was Truscothic's last scoring stroke, Berg then getting one through with some low bounce as the opener was sent back to the pavilion with 53 runs to his name. Abel stuck it out until lunch, by which time Somerset had 107 runs on the board, Abel with 37 of them. And 20 minutes into the afternoon session, he was at his third half century from his last three innings. His sixth four had him at his mark once again, this one using up 122 deliveries. The 21-year-old is in fine form right now. He lost Johan Myberg at the other end for 23 with a total on 142. A drive off Jackson Bird landing into the hands of Berg at point. So Abel was now joined by Hildreth, a batsman who's been in splendid touch for much of this season, although he did miss out twice in that victory over Knotts. Hampshire, of course, had to be on their very best behaviour in the field after being given a suspended 16-point penalty last week, one they can ill afford to take effect now as they battle along with a few other counties to beat the drop into the second tier. Their attack was not finding things that easy here as these two batsmen added 60 more runs for the third wicket, bringing up Somerset's 200 in the process. Some turn for Liam Dawson then brought an end to Abel's innings, just 12 runs short of a maiden first-class 100. It had still been another excellent knock from the youngster. That brought in Jim Allenby, who belted Dawson down the ground for a six. Before the all-rounder was sharply taken at short leg by Sean Terry after making nine of his sides 214 for four. Eight more runs have been added before the tea break. Hildreth resuming his innings on 32 when the evening session got underway. He took on Dawson now, sending this ball down the ground and over the rope. Before another four, two balls later off the spinner, carried Hildreth to his latest 50 off 108 deliveries, from which he'd struck six fours and one six to put his side in charge of this game at this early stage. There were 31 overs for Dawson and Danny Briggs combined on the first day of this match, and they didn't cause too many problems for the Somerset batsman. Hildreth and Peter Trigo now adding a fourth 50-plus partnership during this day from the five stands we'd had at this stage. But two wickets late in the day would have given Hampshire some hope. Trigo edged the ball from Sean Irvin onto his stumps to go for 21. And then Hildreth's innings was ended on 76 when he was trapped in front by James Tomlinson with a total now on 294 for six. That had Michael Bates coming in against the county that released him at the end of last season thanks largely to limited opportunities in Southampton. He saw out the final 20 minutes of the day with Lewis Gregory as the visitors earned their third batting bonus point to go to the close on 310 for six.